I'm Elizabeth Day and I'm the author of The Party. Uh, as the title suggests, my novel is set at a party. Um, it's at a 40th birthday party in the heart of the British countryside. And it's at this party that two best friends meet and reconnect and long brewing tensions come to the surface. And the whole book opens up with a police interview and you read on, I hope, to find out what happened um, several weeks before at this fabulously glamorous and glitzy party. Um, I called it the party because I love parties, <laughs> um, but also because it was such a great narrative structure because I think at parties you always see the gap between who someone actually is and who they want to be and that gap becomes ever narrower the drunker they get, um, which is the other reason I like parties because it's a legitimate excuse to drink cocktails, which is my favourite type of drink in the world, uh, which is why I'm going to teach you how to make one of my favourite cocktails. Um, it's actually <laughs> 1pm UK time, so you're making me into a daytime drinker. Thank you, America. Um, this cocktail, so the protagonist of my book, one of the narrators is called Martin. Uh, he's a quintessential unreliable narrator. I'm obsessed with unreliable narrators. Um, the party was greatly influenced by the Tanta Mr Ripley by Patricia Highsmith. Martin is an outsider. He wins a scholarship to a boys boarding school and it's there that he meets the man who will become his best friend, who is the most good looking, aristocratic, popular boy in his ear, Ben Fitzmaurice. Um, it was coincidental that I called my main character Martin because when it came to arranging my launch party over here in London, I wanted to invent my own cocktail and I thought I would call it the Martin Martini, the Martin E. Do you see what I've done there? Um, the cocktail I'm going to show you how to make, it's uh, loosely based on a gimlet. A gimlet is gin and lime juice, um, but I worked out when I was a student at university that gin makes me quite morose. <laughs> so my favourite tipple is vodka. So uh, mm. I am going to be using this delightful bottle of absolute vodka. I literally bought it because it looked pretty. And I am going to be using lime cordial. I, I, I wonder if you have like a special name for it in America in the same way that you say sidewalk and we say pavement, uh, but it's like a lime syrup that you add water to, to, to dilute. And then uh, that's it really. Then I've got a lime. I'll show you what a lime looks like. There you go. <laughs> it's like a green lemon. Um, and I'm going to start off by putting the lime cordial into my glass. I apologize for the unglamorous nature of this glass. Um, I don't actually have a martini glass, which is a, is a terrible, terrible omission in my life actually. Um, I put in about, what is that, an inch? That's like, an, are you, you're metric, aren't you, in the States? Like, it's a few centimetres. <laughs> um, I've got very bad spatial awareness. This is the lime cordial. Then um, you should probably, if you're going to be doing this sort of professionally, you should probably cool the glass first by sticking it in the freezer for a couple of minutes. Um, but I'm just going to put in three ice cubes. And then I'm going to unscrew the cap from my pretty bottle of vodka and add about double the amount of the lime juice. This is what I did at my launch. And there were many, uh, many comments afterwards about how drunk I made everyone. I mean, that does look quite strong. I guess I, guess I should taste it, right? Um, let me just get out my fabulous cocktail straw. Um, this is to make it look more jolly, okay. Yeah, that's quite strong. So <laughs> I'm going to put in a bit more lime cordial. And then I'm actually, what I like to do is squeeze in a bit of actual lime juice. Here we go. And then just put in like a little disc of lime. Stir, like all good cocktails. Oh my gosh. I mean, that really is perfect. I'm not just saying that. Um, Wow. I mean, okay, so it's five past one now. I'm guessing that in America somewhere, it's probably drinking time. Um, so cheers. Enjoy the party.